Alright, because it's so quick, I'm going to walk you through the entire process for cutting out and assembling this uh, table real quick. It's only two, two by four by eight foot long. So, let me... two of these real quick start cutting we've got uh, four pieces for 22 and a half inches which are the tops so 22 and a half and I'm going to use my first piece as a guide to cut the others These are going to be the tops of the uh, of the table. The next two by four by eight is the entire base. Uh, we've got two pieces at 18 and a half inches. so I just lost my other uh, couple inches from my 18 so I think I got a piece of scrap I'll cut real quick yeah it's not going to work when I went to get this lumber Some of, the piece, some of the pieces in the bin were full light footers and some of them were pre-cut studs, so it kind of threw me off. Of course, you don't know about stuff like that until you get home. That's always the way it works out. But anyway, i got to rip these two down. Actually, that's got a nasty knot in it. That's not going to work for a leg. i got to cut one more. table saw and cut them down. These need to be inch and a half by inch and a half. Uh, two by material is actually inch and a half. It's not two inches thick. So all I'm going to do is set my fence two inch and a half. And make some cuts.
as you can see from that last piece, the uh, table saw, you always want to wear your safety glasses or anything you're doing here in the shop. That last piece shot a bunch of crap at me. All right. So this is how it's going to be put together. We've got two pieces like this. Two pieces like this. And the legs sit in place like this. Just make sure you can see. Yeah, it's just going to be upside down. Just like that. <coughs> and to connect everything, I'm going to use pocket hole screws on the inside. So let's cut those real quick. Or drill them real quick. Got a crack pocket hole machine or jig. Wish I had the machine. And we're just drilling two holes on the inside of each piece. Make sure you got your good side out. That was my bit falling out, but I need it, so it doesn't matter. And you assemble these. I assemble short side first and I do it flat. So, basically just building, building a side on, on, the, on the table here. Uh, clamps for this particular operation aren't 100% necessary. But it does help. I'm using a two and a half inch Craig screw, pocket hole screw. And where's my drill? That's always the fun part, finding the drill. I'm using this bar 
in the clamp as a reference to pull, pull everything down so that way that the top of the table where the boards are going to be secured to is all in the same plane and of course using the, the bench itself to push everything down to where the front face is all the same. screws in with your clutch set so that when it gets to a certain point it'll stop it'll stop engaging the screw. However, however this drill is a piece of junk and the clutch works when it wants to so see inside to inside and then same operation just put these longer pieces in between. Just my clamp match and then let's screw these in Everything's on the same plane on top. A couple more screws. Now, because this is a new YouTube channel, I don't know if my videos can go that long, so I may have to chop some of this down. The whole process, start to finish on this table, was only like 10 or 15 minutes from when I started cutting the wood, so it's probably going to take longer to seal this with some tinted Thompson's water seal than it is to uh, put it together. Now this particular one kind of wobbled on me. I guess one of my cuts was off just a little bit. But that's really not going to matter. It's going to go outside on the grass, so it doesn't matter. All right, now let's put some of the top slats on. The top slats go on just the same way as the bench slats. I just got them screwed down in the short rails. It's a small table. That's going to be fine. These slats I'm just using some uh, some coated three inch decking screws. And what I do is I just line up the first one on both sides where I want it, you know, nothing nothing crazy measurement wise, just eyeball it really. Keep in mind, if you screw these in on an angle, once the, the head hits the, the board, it's going to skew it left or right. Depending on what angle you have, it's going to want to pull it that direction. So, if you don't want it to move, try your best to drill straight. Get that outside piece. Kind of line up everything left and right. And then pull this one out on the opposite end. Again, just eyeballing it to where it has the same amount of overhang all the way around. It's not, uh, it's not rocket science here. That moved a little bit on 
money, so I'm just going to make sure everything is back to where I want it. And then get the other side. Alright, for the remainder of the pieces on the inside, the inside flats, we're just going to eyeball the same amount of gap in between. Now you can use a pencil or something like that to uh, get it all nice and accurate, but you know, that's good enough for me right there. Just eyeball it. minutes to get that done, something like that, 10 minutes, start to finish. Now, like a dummy, I got some markings on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and sand that off before I stain this, but you yeah, have just a cheap little table, let's go with your benches, so now, let's get a bench built, or a chair built, rather. <laughs> 